y'all welcome back to my youtube channel today is thursday june 25th and today i am going to be filming a vlog it has been a hot minute since i've filmed a vlog pretty much like a month or so it's been a long time but i don't know about y'all but life has just felt a little bit monotonous lately and i've been feeling a little bit uninspired However, I am trying to pull myself out of this funk and get back to it, get back into doing what I love. So here I am. So today is going to be an interesting day. We've got some things on the to-do list that we've got to get done. I need to go feed the pups. I have a phone call with the health insurance company here in about 45 minutes because I recently turned 26 and I got kicked off my parents' health insurance plan and now since I'm self-employed, I get to pay astronomical amounts of money for health insurance. Yay! So that is one of the exciting parts of today, but I am going to take you along with us and see what we get into. So let's get today started and welcome back to the vlogs. We got some visitors in the backyard this morning. We got a horse right here and we got the cows back there just to grazing. Oh, I love having these guys in the backyard, but oh my golly, I wish this horse would let me pet him. I miss having horses so, so bad and I'm so tempted to buy one, but horses are expensive. He's so cute though. The first thing on the agenda this morning is feeding the little pupperinos. They each get a cup of food and because they are absolutely spoiled rotten and now um, don't want to eat their food unless there's wet food on top of it, they get to split a bag of this filet mignon flavor in gravy. Doesn't that sound appetizing? So they each get half of this packet on top of their food and mixed in because I am a pushover. Now I mix it all up and give it to the pups. You can hear Bo, he's already very excited about it. Sit. Little Cooper Pooper, are you ready for breakfast? There you go, buddy. Little Bobo, do you want your breakfast? There you go, bud. I totally forgot that I was having a delivery from Good Ranchers, which is actually a company that is locally based here near Houston, but you can purchase them all throughout the U.S. at different pop-up locations, but I totally forgot that it was showing up to our house today, and so there's all these boxes have meat in them. Ooh, look at that T-bone. Yum. Cooper's very interested. But y'all, we've got three boxes of meat here. And, uh, yeah, I don't know how this is gonna work out. I have 40 pounds of fish in my freezer already. I was not planning on this because I totally forgot. So, Pody and I are frantically trying to find a deep freezer to buy right now because we've gotta store this somewhere. What you doing, little Cooper Pooper? Just spying on me here in the kitchen? Are you adorable? Yeah. What you doing, Cooper? <laughs> Cooper is very impressed by our Tetris skills because somehow we just fit those three boxes of meat into our already full freezer. Now, when I say it's a full freezer, it is a full freezer full of meat. So I cannot wait till we get back from Alabama because we are going to be barbecuing and cooking up a storm. We got a little bit in here. All right. Will it stay closed? That, that's the thing. I think it will. Good job. Told you we can do it. <laughs> a little update. It is currently 2.20 p.m. Cody and I have not had any food today. I haven't even had coffee. I've been on the phone all morning doing the health insurance stuff and time just got away from me. So, Cody and I are headed to go get some barbecue for lunch because we don't have much food at the house because we're leaving town. So I haven't been to the grocery store in over a week and the sun is really bright. I can't open my eyes. But we're gonna go get some lunch. I have a phone call in 39 minutes with the company so we should have plenty of time to eat then I can hop on that call. 
And then we've got to run by Petco and get some dog food for the pups. So my mom has some dog food to feed them while we are out of town. So that is the update. Health insurance is getting verified that I qualify, hopefully. Can't wait for those monthly payments, but yay. We're going to Bud's Barbecue right here for lunch. And hopefully it tastes good. I haven't been here in years, so hopefully it still tastes the way it did years ago. We are back in the car after scarfing down lunch and oh my golly, that hit this. That was unnecessary to peel out in the, oh, okay, they're both peeling out in the parking lot behind us. All right, anyways, that was very unnecessary, but our food was delicious. I got sausage and brisket and some grilled veggies. It was really, really good. I haven't had barbecue in so long, we realized, and hit the spot so good now I have 15 minutes until I have a phone call we should have time to run over to Petco and grab some dog food and then I can hop on my phone call yay getting stuff done and I got this fancy new mask isn't it cute it's peach and it's got a filter in it so that's really cool my mom got us these the new accessory to going out in public. What's really nice about the whole mask situation, because it is now required in the county we live in, because the COVID cases in Houston are skyrocketing right now. We had over 5,000 new cases in a day. It's real bad, real scary here right now. So definitely protecting ourselves and wearing our masks, and it's mandatory, obviously. But I kind of like the whole mask thing because I don't have to wear makeup and I can put on some sunglasses and no one knows who I am. Yeah. Running into Petco real quickly. I got Cody bringing my dog food to the front for me. That's kind of nice. Business call is complete, and now we had one more stop here at Lowe's. So our riding lawnmower um, died on us, so now we get to spend like two to three thousand dollars on a riding lawnmower. Cody's like, Catherine, where are you? Aren't we leaving? Okay, so we're gonna go look at some riding lawnmowers real quick and see how much damage it's gonna do to our pocketbooks. Being a homeowner, not really. Hey, uh, having a lawn is a lot of fun. There's Cody. All right, let's go into Lowe's. I've got to say, lawn mowers are not cheap. We really would love one of these zero turn, but they're getting a little bit expensive. We need one of these here John Deere riding lawn mowers. <laughs> yes, this is the one Cody has his heart set on. Oh, it's only 2000 I mean, it's that's a lot of money. How does that one feel? <laughs> We're looking at these here reduced mowers. That's actually a really good price. I came over to my parents' house to pick something up, so of course I had to come and give my ladies a little snack. Yum! Are you not the cutest thing ever? I know you are. Here you go. There's you a little treat. Gotta give him a little red chicken some too. Yum. You got grass on your face. <laughs> you are spoiled rotten. Just look at how tiny and adorable she is. She's so tiny. Look at her. Ah! She's so cute. I love her so much. She's like 10 years old, y'all. We've had this chicken forever. You going to sleep? Look at her. <laughs> All right, back to eating her snack. It is currently 6.30 p.m. and Cody and I are running up to the gas station to put gas in his car, maybe grab a couple of road trip snacks. We're getting up in the morning and we have like a six hour drive to Alabama. So basically just getting the car ready. So when we get up in the morning, we can get up, take the dogs to my parents' house 
and then hop on the road. Oh, look, there's a longhorn right there. Oh, that Two was, went by really fast. But, yep, yeah, that's what we're up to right now. And then I guess we're going to go home, grill some chicken for dinner. And that's going to be our night. I guess I got to go home and pack too, but it's going to be a really short and sweet trip. Maybe three or four days maximum. So, easy packing, right? All right, I'll show you all the snacks I picked up for our road trip tomorrow. I got a Diet Dr. Pepper so I can have a little bit of caffeine if I'm getting tired. I got a liter of water and then I got three of these Jack Link's original beef sticks because this is my current obsession is these jerky sticks. I love them. So yeah, those are my road trip snacks for tomorrow. I just moved all of my cow skulls from in a box into out here where they can get rained on, get a little bit bleached from the sun because they've been sitting in a box forever. So I just came and stuck them in my yard. And y'all, I forget how cool these skulls look. I really want to do something crafty with them to hang them on the walls because they all have such like unique personality. This one is a bull. And this skull is like four times heavier than the other skulls. This skull is unreal how big and heavy it is. But yeah, I just wanted to show you all my skulls. This one right here I think is the prettiest. Just the way the horns turn up, I think it's so neat. But is it kind of mean I have all the skulls facing the cattle pasture? Also, remember how I told y'all our lawnmower broke? It's been broken for nearly two weeks now, so our grass is getting very tall and that's very dangerous for snakes and stuff and on top of all of that we had a bunch of rain so our yard is once again a lake so that's always nice let's see how deep it is right here it's past my ankle right there definitely a little bit deep however there is a drain over in the corner of our yard and it is draining just very slowly and it looks like it's not flooded that bad because the grass is so tall but if the grass was cut Everything out here would be underwater. Bo, what is it? Bo was looking at me crying and I've been answering emails on the computer. And I was like, why in the heck is he crying? And then I realized it's 8.02. I normally feed him dinner at 7.30. I'm sorry, buddy. Are you hungry? Did mommy miss dinner time? You ready to go get some dinner? You want some dinner? Is it dinner time? Come on, let's go eat some dinner. Come on. Oh, I can't believe I'm late on feeding y'all dinner. I know, it's terrible. Let's go. Come on. So, I am trying to come up with something for us to have for dinner tonight. So, we have two of these little southwestern chicken breasts and two of the lemon pepper chicken breasts from Good Ranchers, which is the meat we had delivered earlier today. So this meat came pre-seasoned and I've got to say it smells pretty incredible. Over here I found a bag of riced cauliflower and I figured getting anything out of our freezer at the moment would be great. So I found the bag of riced cauliflower and then I had two leftover bags of Monterey Jack cheese from one of my Green Chef meals. I got this tiny little piece of cheddar left and hopefully I'm going to be able to make some cheesy cauliflower rice with that cheese. This is the first time we're using the lights on our grill which is kind of cool but Cody is throwing the chicken breasts on the grill. These are pretty small chicken breasts so they're going to cook up pretty fast. For this cheesy cauliflower rice, I'm basically just making it up as I go. I microwaved my bag of cauliflower rice, just added about a tablespoon and a half of butter into the pan, and I am just going to let that butter melt and mix that into the cauliflower rice. I really don't know how this is gonna taste, but all that stringy cheese um, looks delicious. Look at that. Yum. Cody just finished cooking our chicken breasts. We've got the southwestern and the lemon pepper and I've got to say they smell incredible. And then over here is the cheesy cauliflower rice I just put together and it should taste pretty good. So we've got us a little simple dinner tonight. 
But, you know, you make do when you haven't gone to the grocery store in a little while. You can make your plate, Cody. He's sitting here anxiously waiting. <laughs> Cody and I thoroughly enjoyed our dinner earlier, and then we laid our lazy butts down on the couch and watched Heartland once again for a couple of hours. And then I just drug my lazy booty and filled a suitcase full of clothes. We're gonna be gone like three days, and I just packed enough for about two weeks. But I just like could not think. I don't have any outfits put together. I brought a pair of tennis shoes and a pair of sandals. Hopefully that's enough. Hopefully I pack clothes that match. I just am not feeling it. So we just shoved a bunch of stuff in a suitcase and we're just we're just hoping it works out. So yeah. We're packed for our trip. We'll call it that at least. But yeah, it is 12.54 a.m. now. Your girl is going to go to bed, get some sleep, and we're going to be up in the morning, and we've got to drive to Alabama. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so, and I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye, guys! Mmm.